In almost a decade of recording in 2017, we noticed the first time that airstrikes was the leading cause for civilian harm from explosive weapons around the world. In 2017, we saw a 44% increase in airstrikes compared to the year before, which led to around 14,300 civilians being killed or injured. What we think we've seen is a shift in strategy. The suicide bomber has made it very dangerous for a lot of troops on the ground. We've seen technology replacing manpower. So you're having the rise in the drone strikes, a rise in distant airstrikes, which is a radical shift in the waging of warfare over time. There really seem to have been four major actors in airstrikes in recent years. It's the Americans, who are not only using airstrikes with conventional planes, but also a lot of drones. There's obviously the Russians, there's the US and UK-backed Saudis, and there's the UK government as well. There does seem to be a distance between reporting on the ground of civilian dead and injured and how many the nation states themselves would admit to. So it seems strange that the UK, for instance, with thousands of strikes, have only admitted to killing or injuring one civilian, and we think this falls short. Our data consistently shows that 90% of people killed or injured when airstrikes are used over to towns or cities will be civilians. We live in a very urban world and yet there seems to be this idea that you can have clean and precision strikes that take out the enemy with zero civilian casualties. If you have an urban world and you use heavy weaponry over towns and cities, you will get civilians being killed. When you read the narratives of victims and you speak to people on the ground who have been under these air launch weaponry systems, they are, live in perpetual fear. Every single noise in the air might be an impending attack and might be their impending death. So it's a psychological burden that impacts huge communities. And then when the bombs do fall, not only is there widespread devastation, but there's the lingering psychological consequence of being under such hard technological superior force. You often read uh, from even the Manchester bombing, for instance, where the perpetrator of a suicide bomb turns around and says, I am doing this because an airstrike killed people in my village or were killing civilians in a distant land. Action on armed violence calls for a cessation of any airstrikes over towns and cities around the world. It has been shown unequivocally that the vast majority of those killed or injured in such strikes will be civilians, and this has to end.